So hi, Micro Hunter here. Look what I brought along. This is a small portable microscope. It's called the Old Ted uh, microscope. Um, it is a, an introductory microscope uh, for children, um, of course, but I think also quite suitable for adults who are interested in starting microscopy as a hobby and who do not want to spend too much money. Um, you just look at the size difference, uh, nice and portable, and look at those microscopes that I have here. Yeah, they, they have to stay on a table, otherwise uh, yeah, it's going to be a little bit too dangerous to carry them around but this one here can be easily carried around has a nice grip here so um, I think especially also for schools and for educational use and especially if, you're, if portability is needed then those small microscopes are quite uh, quite useful and as a matter of fact you're also independent of a power supply because you have a battery compartment here on the bottom and uh, this means that uh, children in a classroom for example can easily carry them, carry them around and, uh, and yeah, without the need of a power supply so what we're going to do now is, is I'm going to simply start unpacking the box now and we're going to have a closer look um, at uh, what you get. So let's uh, now start uh, to unpack the microscope. This is what you get in the box. It's all packaged uh, in foam. There are two eyepieces, a 10 times and a 25 times eyepiece, which allows you to magnify all the way up to 1000 times. I personally think that this is too high. 400 times should be the maximum that you need, but it can't hurt. There's some a short description, a card here. And this here is a mobile phone adapter. There are suction knobs on it uh, that hold the mobile phone and it can be put directly over the eyepiece to take pictures. There's a set of uh, slides, prepared slides. Uh, they're quite nice. And there's also a description about them in the manual. Of course, uh, there is a power adapter, but the microscope can also be powered uh, by battery and this makes it very portable of course so let's take it out let's have a close look now and at what we get here the microscope is made mostly of metal uh, of course there are a few plastic parts and i think it's a good microscope uh, for children of course uh, but also for those people who really do not want to spend a lot of money and who would like to get a first uh, taste uh, of microscopy now there is a possibility now to plug in the power adapter here and uh, it's also of course possible to add three AA batteries here and of course a battery cover has to go on top of it. Well uh, then uh, what else do we have here? When we look uh, at the microscope we can see that there are two lamps. Uh, there's an epi-illumination from the top uh, and uh, there is also the main microscope light coming from the bottom. So you can watch both at transparent specimen and also at uh, opaque specimens. And uh, both of them can be operated uh, from a switch on the back. It has a coarse and a fine focus knob, uh, so that's quite nice. And it has a four times, 10 times, and also 40 times uh, objective. There is no mechanical stage, of course. Uh, microscopes at this price category rarely have one, but there are stage clips uh, that hold the microscope slide um, in place. So, and this is how it looks like. You can also see that there is a small lens in the center of the stage, and here on the back there is also a grip uh, which allows you to carry the microscope. Yeah, and here you can again see the coarse and the fine focus knob. And here the lamp which allows you to look at specimens at a low magnification with light from the top. I like the instruction manual is quite comprehensive um, and detailed. Uh, so children should have no problem uh, getting started with microscopy here. This is a pine leaf cross section that I took uh, directly through the microscope and you can see it looks quite nice. The individual cells are visible here at a higher magnification again. Yeah, so it's uh, quite nice uh, what you're able to see. This one was not one of the slides. This is one that I made. These are onion cells. And there is also an ant that's also quite nice looking here. Yeah, so that's it. Um, again, I hope that the video was again informative for you. Some of you might be a little bit surprised that I'm placing such a strong emphasis on those uh, small, low-cost introductory microscopes uh, because many amateur microscopists think that you have to get good quality devices. Well, first of all, it's a good and a quality device. <laughs> but uh, of course, a certain yeah, limitations have to, have to be made. For example, if there's only one eyepiece to look through. Um, there is no condenser. There is no mechanical 
commercial stage. Of course, uh, small microscopes on this price range have uh, to ha be a little bit simpler in design than, for example, those large ones that you have standing over here. Um, yeah, it's an entirely different category. Um, you have to take uh, those microscopes for what they are. And I think for the price that you, uh, they cost, and uh, for the uh, yeah amount of microscopy that you get in return, uh, they have a pretty good price to performance ratio. Something this was not imaginable up to a couple of years ago. Um, yeah, I, I leave it up to you to decide if you're interested in buying these uh, microscopes. Uh, I did include a link um, in the description below to an Amazon affiliate shop. And uh, it's an Amazon affiliate link, which means that uh, I do earn a small commission when you click on, on this link to buy uh, the microscope. This also helps uh, to support the channel and it does not cost you anything more. Well, I think enough for today. Happy microbe hunting as always and uh, see you around next time.